Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. Robots on the station are testing new technologies that could one day send repair droids to satellites in space. The robotic refueling mission picked up again this week, which uses the station's two-armed mechanical handyman, Dexter, to show how future robots could repair and refuel satellites in space. And just last week, the SPHERES satellites were used to test new automated docking and undocking techniques, a vital skill for any robotic mechanic of the future. A new flock of CubeSats also shot away from the station this week. About a dozen of the small satellites were from Planet Labs, adding to their constellation of Earth-observing satellites, which monitor everything from deforestation and urbanization to natural disaster relief and farming harvests in developing nations. And two other satellites were built by Denmark to test radio technologies for tracking both aircraft and ships on the open sea. This week, we have a fun question from Connor, who wants to know what would happen if you popped a water balloon on the space station? Well, because of the unique environment, it'd end up pretty much looking the same as before it popped. Gravity here on Earth constantly pulls down on everything, which is why water looks flat and conforms to whatever container it's in. But in microgravity, surface tension takes over, and water molecules naturally pull on each other evenly in all directions to form a shape with the smallest possible area, a sphere. Makes staying hydrated a lot more fun. That's it for this week. Keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.